if we look at um, issues that you have, right now, one question, one question um, involves um, a graph from the homework. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But remember, what problems are on this quiz? Not a graph. Well, what we're doing on this quiz is what? Tell me. Partial fraction. Area. So fraction. partial fraction. Area. Area of a triangle given three points. And cross elimination. So I'm going to go ahead and do, because there was a question, and this will definitely be on your test. I'm going to go ahead and do um, from the homework um, 7.4. Guys, we don't have a ton of time to spend on this. We're not going to. We're going to do this and we'll do one other problem um, that you want. But this is one that was asked. So I'm going to graph this. I'm going to find all of my um, intercepts, asses, nodes, all that stuff. So what do I need to do first? Factor everything. So it looks like on the top, I can take out a 3x, and I'll be left with x squared minus x minus 2, which will factor more into x minus 2x plus 1. So that is my um, numerator. On the bottom, I can take out an x. And then factor that into x plus 2, x minus 2. All right, everybody on board with that? I hope so, okay? Now, what cancels? And x minus 2 will cancel. And an x. So this problem is going to have two holes. This problem is going to have a hole where x is 2 and where x is 0. If I cancel that out, all I have left is this. So if I plug in 2, I'm trying to find my y. If I plug in 2, looks like I get 9 over 4. Keep an eye on my arithmetic. And then if I plug in 0, it looks like I get 3 over 2. So in terms of my picture, I'm going to have a hole at 2 9 fourths and at 0 3 halves. Okay. Now, here's my problem. This is all that's left. Tell me about my intercepts and asymptotes. Vertical asymptote at negative 2. No y-intercept because there's a hole where it should be, right? So there's no y-intercept. Is there an x-intercept? Negative 1. So if you put in negative 1, you get 0, and that's what x-intercept is. Is there a horizontal asymptote? Y equals 3. So these three points are pretty obvious. And then, there we go. All right, now that is not on the quiz that we're getting ready to take, but that is definitely going to be a test question. So, I'm glad we got that cleared up. We're all cleared up on this now? Okay, one more question. Let's keep it to the quiz now and get any angst there figured out. Remember, we practiced every quiz question last time. So if you're confused, you should have come to office hours. But I'll do one question. Is there one thing that you missed on homework and you weren't sure why or something like that that has to do with the quiz? 
I'm just going to pull one from somewhere. Um, so, do I have one somewhere? Yeah. All right. On um, trying to think Thank you. Let's just do on the seven free homework number one. Because I think there were quite a few people that missed this one. So this is seven free homework number one. done in terms of the process. I need a zero right here because my goal is to be able to look at the bottom row and say z equals something. Right? So, go ahead and for the time being, I think I'm just going to leave that five right there. Um, I could divide it. I'm going to eventually divide it. But it's kind of nice in this particular problem having that be a 5, isn't it? Because now I can just add without having to multiply by anything. So 0, 0, 1, 4. But now I have to, I'm done, I'm done. But I, my matrix isn't in echelon form yet, so I need to divide that middle row by 5. That's a technicality. It doesn't impact the answer at all. It's just so my matrix is in echelon form. So my variables for x, y, and z, that hasn't changed. So z equals 4. Now, if z equals 4, then I can find y because y minus z equals negative 5. So y minus 4 is negative 5. So y must be negative 1. And then back to the beginning, x minus 2y plus z equals 8. That's my original first equation. So x plus 2 plus 4 equals 8, so it looks like x equals 2, and that's our answer, right? So that's the process. Every problem's got different numbers in it, but that's our process, okay? All right, get your big, uh, frozen in the pockets, get your walls up. 